Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7 and Pro A7 Plus panels, and how to get the Pro 6 combo, 6 uh, smoke detector and CO detector, enrolled into the panel. Um, this is an encrypted device. Uh, and before I go any further, make sure that you've had your firmware update done on this panel. This panel comes factory with, uh, with a firmware revision that does not allow for local programming. So make sure that you have had your firmware update done. The way that you do that is you go ahead and give us a call. We'll get it activated. We'll update the firmware at that point. And from that point on, you are good to go with local programming. So we're going to go ahead and get this enrolled. Go ahead and hit the menu button at the bottom. We're going to scroll down to tools. Go ahead and enter your installer code. Mine is 4112, which is the factory code. Now we're going to go into programming. And then we're going to go into peripherals. Once in peripherals, you're just going to go ahead and hit that plus sign up there. And in order to enroll this, all you are going to do is hit the button that's labeled smoke test hush. You just double tap it. All right, at that point, you will start getting a fast blinking green light like so and it should go solid for a moment once it enrolls into the panel. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait for this. It should be ready to roll here momentarily. Um, sometimes they do take a little longer than others, uh, but this is about normal time to get it done. So we're just gonna wait for it. There it is. All right, now at this moment, you can also tell it to enroll the CO detector as well. So it's enrolled primarily as a smoke right now. So what we're gonna do is we'll get the smoke set up. It is set up as a smoke. We'll just title it Living. Okay. We have Living Room. Save it. Okay. We'll keep scrolling down here. Fire no verification. I want them to call me before they dispatch, so I like fire with verification. That way the central station will reach out prior to dispatching. I do want it supervised because I want to know if something does happen to it. I do want it to report. And also the coolest feature I think about these is the one go all go feature. So if you have several of these in the home, once it hears one go off, all of them will go off, which will alert the whole home, which is a, a pretty neat little feature. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. So once you've gotten all your specs correct on the smoke detector, go back up to where it says service and then go ahead and click add. It'll save the specs for the smoke detector. Now it's wanting us to go ahead and either enroll it as a heat detector or a CO. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll do it as the CO detector and then we can go back and we can do the heat. But um, this is the, uh, the CO. And actually, it's just going to be CO and, and smoke. I guess you have to choose one or the other there. Um, so CO is what it's going to be. And it is the living room CO. And it is a carbon monoxide detector. So it is monitoring carbon monoxide. I do want it supervised. And I do want it to report to me. Uh, the chime is not necessary on a device like this. So you can forego that. And the one go all go feature, I of course want on so that they all go off at the same time. Now at this point, we can go ahead and hit save. It'll save that. Now we can come back and this is where we can add the heat. So I'll go ahead and, and add the heat as well. This is all three devices being added at the same time. So we'll do the heat, living room. Yep, fire, no verification. It actually doesn't allow you to change that. If you get a heat, they're gonna roll. Uh, so supervised, yes. Alarm report, yes. Uh, we don't need it to chime. And one go, all go feature, of course, yes. We'll save that. You will now see that we have three separate zones programmed and these will represent zone one, zone one, two, and three. So smoke, CO, and heat. Go ahead and save it. You come back to the main screen, you should see all three. So zone one, living room smoke. Zone two, living room carbon monoxide detector. And zone three, living room heat. We'll go ahead and we'll exit out of programming. And we can go ahead and we can tamper this device and it should report to our uh, our panel here letting us know that there is a tamper condition present let's see here there it is all right so now we'll put the cover back on we'll go ahead and we'll clear that Disarmed. Ready to all right ladies and gentlemen that is how you program in the six series combo detector which is the smoke co and heat detector into the honeywell home pro series pro a7 and Pro A7 Plus. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.